Well, it must be awful to like have had everything ripped away from you because you became a cocaine addict mm. or because you, you, you got into heroin. Mm. Imagine just like you have a functional existence, everything's great, you're you're doing a thing, whether it's rock and roll music or whatever it is, and then all of a sudden things start going well. Mm. You're doing shows and you just like to get high and you're just getting high a lot and you're just like doing shows like I need a bump before I go up and <laughs> wah, yeah. and next thing you know you're getting high every night and you're just wrecked and your immune system is wrecked and your body's wrecked and you're yeah. always like implementing chemicals it's always alcohol to sleep and maybe ambien and cocaine to wake up and, yeah you know, you're living three four years to every one year every one year you've got three or four years of damage because you're going so hard and then you know you don't you don't want to think it was just you mm. and it's not just you because it's addictive it's like a real it's a problem it's like saying Telling someone they have the flu, like, yeah, well, you should be sick. I'm like, okay, that's not helping them. Yeah. They, they're addicted. They're like physically addicted to Coke. And we want to categorize that as like being a mental weakness, or we want to categorize that as being you're totally helpless and that the addiction like, has overwhelmed you. I suspect it's a combination of the yeah. two things. I suspect that's yeah. why there's such polarizing camps between the idea that it's not your fault at all and it's 100% your fault and you need to fucking just be stronger. It's also the hardest thing to understand if you've never done it. Like all these people that have no empathy for the people that get caught up in addiction have just probably never tried heroin. Yeah, they never like, tried it. They don't know what they're talking about. Have you ever, <laughs> I have you ever, it's have amazing. You ever, have you ever tried heroin? No, I haven't. But when I had a knee operation, they had this morphine drip and uh crazy yeah i've been told that this is not correct by someone but i don't know if that's true mm. they said when i was in the operation so i i got an acl reconstruction in 1993 or some shit the old surgery bro they open you up like a fish yeah and they take a piece of your shin bone and a piece of your uh kneecap and a strip of your your patella tendon and then they open you up and then fucking screw it in place and that's your new acl mm. it's actually stronger than the original acl but you don't have the same functionality like the new acl surgeries are incredible these guys are back after six months yeah, the new ACL surgeries, most of what they're doing is, uh, well, I did both. I did a cadaver graft on my right knee. What's that? The cadaver graft, they take a dead dude's Achilles heel, his Achilles tendon, which is much stronger and thicker than the, the tendon that's general, the, the, the real ACL. The and they make that your ACL. Ligament. Yeah, they turn that into your ACL. Interesting. Yeah, and that was only six months. That was six months, and then I was back, like, basically 100%. Hmm. That was really good. Because that one, like, I was walking without a cane in, like, five days. After an ACL surgery? Yeah, it was crazy. It was so much less invasive, that one, to get get the cadaver one. The other one is so invasive because, like, they have to cut you. It's a big slice. Yeah. They have to open you up and yeah. screw it in and screw it in. Yeah. And, and then check to see if it's good yeah you know but it is your tendon that they're cutting um but the uh the cadaver one what happens is it becomes a scaffolding and your body proliferates the scaffolding of the dead dude's uh heel what does that mean it's Achilles to tendon. eat it up or something no it changes it it overcomes it with its own cells so originally, all it is is like a scaffolding for your body to grow that tendon back. Oh, that's the purpose of it. Yeah, that, what your body is doing is you're like, if they take, a, I'm, I'm sure if you're a doctor out there, I'm fucking this up, so I'm sorry. <laughs> We're just comedians, by the way, just to remind you. They everybody. take the Achilles tendon and then they screw it into the bone on the top and the bottom. Yeah. So it becomes your new ACL. Yeah. But it's not really that stable right. because it's a dead guy's shit. Right. So your body has to use it as a scaffolding. Starts like, to build its and own build version of build its it. own tissue Amazing. over the this. Amazing. And then within six months, that process has happened. Amazing. And then you have a, a real, like, solid ACL that's way stronger. I think it's 150% stronger than a regular ACL. 